Okay, this video is how to set up your uh, Google email account. So you have various options and a signature line. First thing you want to do to set up your email account is go to the gear icon, which is in the upper right hand corner. It says if you hover over it, it'll say settings. Go ahead and click that. And then the next thing you want to click is right underneath see all settings. Okay, these are the settings that you have available. We're going to go through these and, you know, create the settings that are a standard for your school. First thing you want to do is under undo send, you want to change the time from whatever it is to 30 seconds. This will give you 30 seconds to undo an email. So once you hit send, you have 30 seconds now to take it back and, you know, fix any errors you had, fix anything that was wrong. Okay, next thing, we're going to look for the default text style. This is what your messages will be written in. You want to pick your font, pick any font you want. Don't pick Comic Sans. Okay, that is written for, really used for a five-year-old for creating birthday invitations. So if you're not five years old, don't use Comic Sans ever. Use Verdana, uh, Tahoma, Sans Serif. Use something that you want to, you know, see in your messages. It should be real simple, easy to read. Your font should be normal. You don't need to make it large. Hey, most people can read just a normal font. And then the person reading it can also zoom into it. And your font uh, text color should be black. Okay, those should be the standards for what you send out your emails in every time. If you want to change it for an individual person, go ahead and change it in that email. Next, you want to scroll down to you find where it says signature. So where it says signature, you want to go create new. And then in your signature name, type in what this is for. So this is for school. So you're going to want to type in school. And then once you're done, click create. And you'll see when it says school, you can create another one for something else if you'd like. So you will always have your first and last name. Once you've done that, you can change the fonts. You can make it a little bit different. So it really kind of stands out. If you want to change the color, it's under the A that says text color, and you can make it any color you'd like. You can use school colors. You can do kind of whatever you want for your name. After that, you want to put in your school name, your school address, and a motto that your school has or a tagline that your school has. Okay, I've already created these, so I'm just going to copy and paste and have it all done. You notice I've changed some colors, some fonts, and made it look, you know, a little bit different. If you want to add um, an image or a picture, don't just copy and paste it. If you do, sometimes it doesn't come out or it will lose the connection. So you want to save it to your computer and then go to where it says insert image and find that image. Okay, so I already have mine has already been saved. If it hasn't, you can you know find it, save it. I click select and it puts it right in here. You do not want a picture that is this big. Okay, you want it small. So it's just a little you know picture that represents you and your school or you know whatever you have going on. Now, once you have your signature line the way you like it, and the way you want it to look, proofread, make sure everything's correct. Underneath where it says signature default, make sure that your default one is school. You can add additional ones. You can put it on the reply if you want to, but you don't need to because you've kind of already established who you are in your initial email. So that is your choice.
the last thing you want to change and make sure this stays off is your vacation responder. Make sure this is off if it's clicked on. Then every time someone sends you an email, they will get an email bounced back to them that says you are out of the office or you know something is going on. So always keep that in the off position. And then down here at the end, make sure you click save changes or none of it gets saved. 